friends, uh, this is uh, uh, Dr. Maila I am an assistant professor uh, in agriculture and food engineering department, IIT Karapur. Uh, I am going to, uh, I mean, teach this lecture. This is lecture number 23 of uh, soil and water conservation engineering course. Uh, mostly, it's on uh, parabolic grass waterways. Uh, Professor Singh is uh, unable to take this lecture, and uh, pro I, I think he has covered uh, uh, six weeks lectures. So, and the rest uh, will be covered by uh, three more uh, professors, uh, including uh, I mean, in, uh, uh, including me. So, there will be four professors will be teaching the rest of uh, you know six weeks uh, lectures on uh, the soil and water conservation engineering uh, because he is unable to take the uh, remaining lectures. Okay, so the parabolic grass base. So, and uh, uh, lecture number 22 has explained, uh, you know, the other uh, grass waterways. Uh, now, in this lecture, so basically, we are going to see how to design a parabolic uh, uh, grass waterways, the stepwise procedure, and followed by uh, some examples. Okay, so in this, uh, so the last, I mean, the the course content for week five, if you uh, go through, so lecture number 23. That is a parabolic grass base. So, then, uh, so, uh, so next is the design. So, Morgan uh, basically described the design procedure of parabolic shaped uh, grass waterway, which is accomplished uh, under following steps. So, uh, some of the notes uh, you can follow uh, from the previous lecture. Uh, I mean, the most of the parameter estimations are similar. So, the only thing the shape uh, in this case this is a parabolic shape, right. So, the step number 1 uh, in this design uh, is to determine peak runoff rate, because this is uh, what uh, very important uh, and which uh, did this determines the capacity of uh, a particular you know uh, the grass waterways, uh, right. This, this represents the capacity uh, to be drained through the waterway, this is number 1. Uh, so, you can say the uh, capital Q that is our uh, you know notation and the next is the fix the uh, grade as per defined criteria. So, so based on the your criteria, so usually 5 to 10 percent the slope is required uh, and then the step number 3 is select the maximum permissible velocity uh, flow velocity. So, this is non erosive right and according to the condition of vegetative cover and uh, soil of the waterway. Okay, so, based on the two conditions, the first is what, what kind of soil it is and what kind of grass has been grown on the particular uh, you know the waterway. So, uh, there is a table is available uh, from the table you can clearly get the maximum permissible uh, flow velocities. Right? For example, uh, let us see um, here in this table if you see this, this is the maximum uh, permissible flow velocity, right. So, uh, in the column number 1, if you see the material of waterway, so the mostly the, the soil type uh, like uh, very light uh, silty sand, uh, light loose sand or coarse sand, sandy soil uh, followed by hard cement. Okay. So, then the maximum uh, velocity uh, based on the cover expected after 2 seasons. Uh, so, that is the uh, in meter per second, this is the maximum velocity. So, for base soil uh, 0.3 in case of very light silty sand. So, this is a uh, uh, maximum uh, permissible velocity, right. So, similarly it follows for hard concrete or hard cement you get 2.5 uh, uh, is the uh, maximum permissible velocity. So, similarly for medium grass cover or very good grass cover, the maximum permissible velocity values in meter per second are given in the table. So, you can use this table for uh, designing you know uh, the parameters. Okay. And then, so the next step number 4 um, is the select a suitable value for Manning's roughness coefficient n. Right. So, so one is uh, the the hydro hydrology or hydrologic design that is the Q uh, in step number 1 and now we are going towards the hydraulic design. So, that is the Manning's and way uh, 
uh, we are going to determine uh, the uh, you know the depth as well as the top width of the particular grass waterway. So, the Mannix roughness coefficient n according to the vegetation retardness class. So, it is given by retardance curve, num, uh, curve index that is represented with C i right. Uh, this is a curve index retardance curve index. So, the retardance curve index um, is a function of height of the plant and uh, the stem density of uh, vegetation growth. So, this equation is given by Temple uh, 1982. So, um, so, basically here the variables variable is m right. So, in order to find out m, so there is a table number 2. So, from table number 2 we can uh, uh, get the m value once h and uh, you know uh, m are known you can find out c i and once h and c i can be estimated. Uh, then table 3 will be used to find out Mannix roughness coefficient. Okay. So, for Mannix roughness coefficient which is a function of right uh, C i right where C i is a function of uh, H and M capital M. So, M we can get it from table number 2 right H is given right here for a particular uh, height of the grass and you can find out C a C i once C i is uh, estimated and from the table you can get n. So, let us see the table uh, from here the table number 2 this is from table number 2 right this m whereas, uh, uh, c i this is table number 3. Okay. So, let us let us go through table number 2 uh, which uh, we are going to in which we are going to estimate capital m. So, let us see. So, this table clearly shows the cover group in column number 1. So, like uh, creeping grass uh, and sod forming grasses, uh, bunch grasses, uh, legumes, uh, annual grasses. So, all, all these kind of covers and estimated cover factor 0 0.9, 0 0.87 these are given and cover uh, tested or uh, Bermuda grass, right? Uh, centipede grass, buffalo grass. So, different grass varieties are uh, given in uh, column number 3 and the reference stem density m uh, is estimated for a particular you know uh, grass cover. So, for Bermuda grass for example, 5380 that is a stem per meter square. Now, similarly for other grass types. So, from table number 2 you get this m values for a particular grass type and then uh, um, table number Three. So, once you know the capital M and H you can find out C i. So, once you know the C i then you can uh, find out the n value from table number 3. So, these are the C i values and descriptions very long dense grass, long grass, you know medium grass. So, the short grass and very short grass. So, these are the heights uh, of grass heights 250 to 600 mm, 150 to 200 mm, short grass means 50 to 150 mm and short, very short grass is less than 50 mm height and the corresponding uh, Mannings uh, n values are given here. So, suppose uh, your value is in between 50 and 150 right. So, 50 and 150 mm for 50 and 150 the n value is 0 0.03 to 0 0.06. Suppose, if you are uh, uh, sorry mm. So, if your grass height is 60 mm right. So, now you have to find out the, the corresponding uh, n value. So, that is simply by using interpolation right. So, for interpolation method you can find out uh, for 60 mm grass height what would be the n value. So, the next is step number 5 in uh, step number 5. So, you are going to calculate hydraulic radius of waterway right. So, so this is a, a parabolic waterway. Okay. So, uh, if this is the top width capital T and uh, this is uh, capital D that is the depth. Okay. So, hydraulic radius probably if the water level is here. So, the hydraulic radius is from here to here. Okay. So, so, hydraulic radius which is equal to if you remember the Mannings and uh, Mannings equation. So, that is V is equal to 1 by n r power 2 by 3 s power half. Right. So, from this equation you can find out the r value. So, that is r is equal to v n by s power half in 1.5. So, then uh, step number 6 
is uh, once we know q and velocity, you can find out the area of cross section of the particular uh, waterway, the grass waterway. And step number 7, so this is uh, determining the depth of waterway, this parabolic using the approximate equation, right. This is an approximate equation uh, d is equal to 1.5 r, there was a table uh, if you remember in the previous lecture probably. So, d small d is equal to 1.5 times the hydraulic radius. Okay, so, the next is step number 8 uh, is the top width, okay, calculating the top width of the grass waterway. So, which is A divided by 0.67 d for this is for uh, parabolic grass waterway, this is for parabolic uh, shape. So, the top width is uh, T is equal to A by 0.67 d. Okay. So, once we know the top width and uh, uh, area and velocity, the step number 9 will uh, estimate the uh, I mean the discharge using uh, continuity equation A into V. So, where A is equal to 0.67 uh, T D right so from the above equation and V is the velocity. So, this is just to verify your uh, discharge Q with this equation. Okay. And step number 10 finally, so you have to add a 20 percent uh, design uh, depth as free board. Okay. So, the free board you need to add in order to uh, accommodate you know silting and all other uh, problems. Okay. So, the where d p this is the, the practical d you can see the practical d which is equal to 1.2 times uh, of d because 20 percent more uh, depth you are considering. Okay. So, that is it. So, there are uh, you know 10 te uh, steps involved in uh, designing the grass waterway. So, the first uh, step uh, you will be knowing what is the discharge q. right? So, then uh, the next step is uh, to find out uh, Manning's roughness coefficient. So, that is based on the uh, you know the grass cover, grass height right, and the soil condition, the soil type. So, based on this information using some tables, you will be able to find out uh, roughness coefficient. So, once we know the roughness coefficient, you will be able to find out uh, hydraulic radius and from hydraulic radius, uh, you get the hydraulic depth and from hydraulic depth, uh, top width and from top width, uh, you will be able to find out the practical depth. Okay, that is uh, you know 20, uh, 20 percent is of the actual uh, I mean design depth. So, that you will be able to accommodate uh, any uh, you know consequences due to silting and, uh, and you know the extreme uh, flows. Okay. So, for example, here the, the problem number 1 uh, we follow the same uh, you know steps what we explained before. So, this is to design a parabolic shaped grass waterway to convey the peak runoff rate of 6 meter cube per second. This is capital Q which is given here uh, 6 meter cube per second on 1 percent land slope. So, 1 percent that is 0 0.01 uh, in fraction. The waterways uh, soil is sandy because there is a sandy soil and uh, uh, to be lined with uh, Bermuda grass uh, medium grass covers because this information the grass information is required to find out uh, you know the uh, roughness coefficient uh, n. Okay, the grass height uh, would be kept at 0 0.06. So, this is the gra grass height h uh, from the soil surface. So, with this information uh, how to uh, design a grass waterway. So, in design parameters what we are looking is what is the top width and what is the depth right and what is the hydraulic radius. So, step number 1 as I explained, so we need to select the maximum flow velocity according to the uh, proposed vegetation and its condition. So, this is a uh, uh, V uh, right. So, from the table number 1 uh, for sandy soil and medium grass cover because and V is the maximum permissible velocity under this soil and under this grass cover. Okay, this is number 1 because we, we know q value and now v value right you will be able to find out uh, i mean the other other thing is to find out n value so that is um, uh, i mean manning's roughness coefficient so let's see how to find the n value so since n is a so so this is the table number 1 uh, we use the table number 1 to find out the maximum grass cover this is v which is equal to 1.5 meter per second right 
the table number 1 uh, and then let us go to uh, step number 2. The step number 2 is we need to determine Manning's n according to vegetation class, okay, retar retardance class. So, that is C i. So, as I said C i is a function of the small h and uh, capital M. So, h value is known, uh, the m needs to be estimated. right? So, for m, um, so as the table number 2, right? from table number 2, if you go to the next slide, you will be able to uh, see what is m value for uh, Bermuda grass and the stem uh, for, for, for Bermuda grass. Okay. The stem density is 5380. So, putting the value of h and m, uh, you get uh, C i as 3.67 and then using C i and table number 3, uh, the corresponding, you know, uh, so let us say uh, C i is 3.67, which is close to 4.4 because in the table there is a 4.4 uh, and short grass, uh, for short grass case, so H is between 50 and 150 mm uh, and N ranges from 0 0.03 to 0 0.06. Okay. So, for H value 0, 50 to 150 mm, the N value ranges from 0 0.03 to 0 0.06. So, uh, in our case, the H value is 60 mm. So, for inter, uh, after interpolation, so N value is uh, 0 0.033, you will be getting. So, from, from the same thing. So, it is uh, for 150 to, uh, 50 to 150 as uh, 0 0.03 to 0.06 and 50 mm uh, for, uh, by interpolating these values you will get 0 0.033. Okay, so, now you will be estimating uh, uh, n value. So, then uh, this is the table number 2 where uh, you find out a uh, small uh, capital M value uh, for Bermuda grass you have seen in the previous slide. Uh, you know the m value is 5380. Then we used this m value for finding out the uh, C i and once uh, knowing the C i you will be able to. So, C i uh, was uh, 9 uh, sorry 4.4 which is close and for short grass uh, this is for 50, 150 mm you know uh, grass height you will be uh, I mean using 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 n and after interpolation you got uh, for required uh, desired grass height 60 mm. So, the n value you estimated in the previous slide. Okay. So, the next uh, uh, step is step number 3 uh, in which we are going to estimate the hydraulic radius. So, this is from Manning's equation. Uh, so, you will be substituting the values v n this is a permissible velocity and Manning's n slope and you will be able to find out 0. Point 3.48 meter is hydraulic uh, radius and step number 4 to calculate the cross sectional area A grass waterway which is equal to uh, Q by V right? and uh, now A is equal to 6 by 1.5 and 4 meter square. So, this is the area of cross section of the grass waterway you got uh, I mean parabolic grass waterway. Okay. So, the next is step number 5. So, Calculating the design depth, so knowing uh, the hydraulic radius, so we know the uh, equation for uh, parabolic equation, so small d equal 1.5 into r. So substituting the values, you get small d 1.52 meter. And step number six, we are going to calculate the top width. That's a small t. That's a by 0.67 d. And uh, uh, substituting value for a and d, you get 11.48 uh, meter is the top width. And the capacity you can cross check. Uh, so, Q is equal to A into V, uh, which is equal to 0.67 into T into D, this A and V. So, substituting these uh, T, D and V values and the Q value will be 6 meter cube per second and that is uh, our 6 uh, meter cube per second. This is what is given. So, this is matching. So, that means our calculations are okay. So, the next is uh, step number 8. So, you have to add 20 percent uh, as free board. Uh, of the depth of flow. So, that is 0.52 uh, is uh, uh, depth uh, multiplied 1.2 because it is 25 percent. So, 0.62 meter right when you add 20 percent of this and you get 0.62 meter. And top width of the uh, waterway that is a capital T which is equal to small t into capital D by small d power half 
right. So, this equation for finding out the top width uh, 11.48 uh, into uh, 0 0.62 is the uh, including the free board and 0 0.52 is the design upper half you get 12.54 meter is the top width and uh, hence the final dimensions of the uh, waterway is the depth is uh, so your parabolic uh, grass waterway. So, top width is 12.54 meter right and uh, the depth is 0.62 meter right. So, this is this will be carrying 6 meter cube per second uh, flow rate ok. This is the design of uh, parabolic grass waterway. So, the basically in this design uh, our final aim is to calculate what is the top width and bottom width and the carrying capacity ok. And uh, so, the next example uh, problem number 2. Uh, so, here the design a parabolic shaped grass waterway to convey peak flow rate here 2.6 meter cube per second is capital Q right 2.6 meter cube per second uh, on erodible sandy soil having 3 percent uh, land slope. So, S is equal to uh, 3 percent that is 0 0.03 uh, right. Okay. So, the waterway has uh, a good grass cover and a permissible velocity 1.75 meter per second assume Manning's uh, coefficient as 0 0.03. So, n is already given 0 0.03 and permissible velocity v is 1.75 meter per second. So, we can uh, skip you know 1, 2, 3, 4 I mean first few steps uh, up to calculating uh, the n value right. So, we can skip those values and we can start uh, from the next step the, the design procedure ok. Let us see. Uh, so, the solution here uh, the given q is equal to 2.6 a meter cube per second s 0 0.03 v 1.75 and 0 0.03. So, now calculating the hydraulic radius. So, we skip the steps just before the step to calculate hydraulic uh, radius and now r is equal to v and s bar half power 1.5 you get capital R is a 0 0.17 uh, meter this hydraulic radius. So, knowing hydraulic radius you will be able to find out what is uh, uh, small d right that is uh, uh, d is equal to 1.5 capital R right. So, that is 1.5 into 0 point so 0 0.26 meter and now then uh, q is equal to a b formula using that you will be finding out the what is the area of cross section of a gas waterway that is q by v. So, the values are already given. So, you can calculate the area of cross section of the grass waterway and step number 4 to calculate the top width. So, this is the equation for calculating the top width t is equal to a by 0 0.67 d and uh, substituting uh, area and uh, depth values you get the top width 8.50 meters. So, now you are going to find out uh, the, the free board adding free board to the depth and finally, the the top width ok. So, let us see those. Uh, so, here so and again the cross check. So, whether the q value is coming ok or not q is equal to a into v where a is equal to 1 1.48 1 point into 1.75 is 2.6 a meter cube per second that is uh, same as what uh, I mean the carrying capacity uh, of the problem is. And step number 6 20, 20 percent of free board uh, uh, was added here. So, 20 percent is the 0 0.26 0 0.26 into 1.2 or you can also you know so 0 0.26 and 20 were so the same you get the same value right 0 0.31 meters. So, this is uh, waterway depth uh, including the free board and top width of the waterway capital T is equal to small t d by uh, small d power 1 by 2. So, where capital D is uh, uh, including the free board right and small d without free board 0 0.26 and you get 9.3 meter is the uh, top width. So, the parabolic shape of grass waterway has depth 0 0.31 meter and top width 9.3 meter to carry discharge 2.6 meter cube per second. Okay. So, so, here 
uh, if you see you might have the confusion with you know the small d capital D and all those things. So, so what, what we are uh, seeing here is, so when the complete discharge which is q is here is a 2.26 meter cube per second, when this is carrying right. So, this much depth you are expecting, this is called a small d ok, this is a small d and the corresponding t is the small t. But whereas, uh, if you include the free board right 25 per 20 percent and this will be your design uh, depth and this will be your you know the, the final top weight ok. So, so then uh, so the, the, the whole uh, shape can carry 2.6 meter cube per second even little bit more ok. So, the next problem number 3 uh, is uh, to determine the discharge capacity of a parabolic grass waterway with top width uh, 7.5 meter top width and depth uh, flow 0.3 meter and bed slope 4, 4 percent ok and the roughness coefficient of uh, grass is 0 0.04 with the passage of time the roughness coefficient of grass has changed to 0 0.05 because what happens during the course of uh, its uh, growth, growth stage the, the roughness coefficient definitely is going to increase. So, what would be the percentage change in the discharge capacity of the channel section? So, this is a very important problem like uh, you know in one growth stage you expect q 1 and the other growth stage. So, you may not be expecting the same uh, you know q, uh, q 1 uh, during the growth of the particular uh, you know the grass cover. So, uh, this is a quite interesting problem like uh, there are two cases like parabolic grass waterway with top width uh, depth of flow and bed slope is given. So, these are not changing right they are not changing uh, only what happen if you know uh, if the grass cover is going to change right uh, and then uh, so that definitely influence the uh, change in uh, Manning's end ok. So, if the Manning's end is changing, so what would happen to the channel cross uh, capacity ok, discharge capacity. Let us see this. Uh, uh, so, the solution here if you see the given uh, original roughness coefficient n is equal to 0 0.04 and change roughness coefficient n is equal to 0 0.05. So, from continuity equation uh, using uh, Manning's uh, equation, so q is equal to 8 times this is v. Uh, 1 by n r power 2 by 3 s power half. So, n's, uh, hence original q is equal to. So, substituting all the values right uh, 1 by 0 4 a r power 2 by 3 s power half. So, let us say uh, 1 by 0 4 1 by 0 0.04 is a 25 multiplied by let us uh, consider it is it is a k like uh, a letter k which is where k is equal to a r power 2 by 3 s power half. Because these values are not changing. So, that is our concern and change q is equal 1 by 0 4 into a r 2 2 power uh, 3 in s power half that is 20 k ok. So, the percentage change uh, in q the original q minus change q by original q. So, 25 k 20 k divided by 25 k into 100 you get 20 percent ok. So, hence the percent change in q due to change in n value will be 20 percent ok. So, that means, so changing, so how much uh, change in n? So, n is changing from 0 point, uh, 0 0.4 I think 0 0.04 to uh, 0 0.05 right. So, for changing n from 0 0.04 to 0 0.05 there will be 20 percent change in q. So, so uh, what, what kind of uh, q it is changes original original minus q 20 percent um, is going to change ok. So, definitely 20 percent uh, increasing or decreasing change or oh, this will be decreasing because n is going to increase. So, once n is increasing definitely the carrying capacity is going to decrease. So, that is the 20, 20 percent decrease of uh, uh, you know the carrying capacity can be observed ok. So, this is all uh, about this lecture. So, in this lecture basically we focused on the design of uh, parabolic grass waterway. So, uh, in this there are uh, you know uh, basically 10 steps 
Okay, so, step number 1 the q carrying capacity uh, if it is given q otherwise if it is not given you may have to use uh, you know the rational method to find out q peak right q is equal to c i a by 360. So, using that you will be find out what is the q and then the other other values are n. Uh, okay, so, based on the grass cover uh, you know the soil type you will be finding out n value by using some tables okay. and then uh, knowing n value so right you will be finding out uh, uh, the uh, depth of flow right depth of flow is equal to 1.5 uh, times uh, the uh, hydraulic radius. So, hydraulic radius uh, is obtained from Manning's n. So, uh, knowing the depth of flow you will find out the top width of flow right and then adding 20 percent of freeboard to depth of flow uh, you get uh, uh, the, the design depth of flow uh, design depth of uh, the channel and the top width. Uh, there is a equation for finding out the, the top width uh, by knowing the design depth and calculated depth right. Uh, so, I, I think this uh, and also we explained some uh, we solved some problems. Okay. So, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, we will cover the next uh, lecture uh, with I think the great problems. Okay. Thank you so much.